This is a very easy side dish to make. And usually when I make chicken dishes, I make side dishes like this ahead of time before the chicken because I'm going to set it aside because the side dish can be served either warm or at room temperature. So the first thing I'm going to do in some hot oil is I'm going to saute some garlic. I'm not going to let it get brown. I'm just going to saute it for a quick minute here just to flavor the oil. Okay? That's all. I'm not going to let it get brown. There it is. Nice, simple, easy. Okay. And to this, I'm going to add some brown sugar. Okay. Now the garlic is getting a bit brown, but that's okay. Okay. And to that, I'm going to add multicolored bell pepper. And that's what I want to hear. I want to hear that sizzle. Alright, that's what I want to hear. Okay. I'm going to cook these multicolored bell peppers until they brown on so many surfaces on a high heat. And then I'm going to add some capers and I'm going to add some red wine vinegar. And this side dish is going to be put aside. Okay, so you see how the peppers have gotten nice and brown? Okay, now I'm going to lower the heat to medium and I'm going to throw in some roughly chopped capers. All right. That's going to add a little bit of saltiness. Okay. And to that, a little red wine vinegar. All right. There we go. There we go. All right, now, I'm gonna let the liquid, the vinegar and the liquid from the capers reduce just a little bit for about two or three minutes here until it reduces. And then I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, before we cook up the chicken, the one thing we need to do is we need to salt and pepper the chicken liberally on each side. There's a little bit of salt. I'm grinding coarse salt. I love to use coarse salt. Okay. And black pepper. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to liberally season both sides. Okay. In salt and pepper. There we go. This is Telicherry black pepper from India. The salt I use is a coarse ground salt from Italy. It's coarse ground sea salt. Okay, so I'm using a big wad of it on each side and I turn it over, cooking four breasts. Each breast, eh, about six ounces. And more of that Italian sea salt. cherry black pepper. Nice and liberal because the gorgonzola cheese sauce really likes the black pepper. Okay, so now we're going to cook the chicken breasts. Now you can't see this, it's off camera, but I'm taking my chicken breasts and I'm dusting them in all-purpose flour with my own special blend of poultry seasoning and it'll be in the recipe. I don't buy poultry seasoning, okay? As a foodie, as a cook, okay, I don't buy poultry seasoning. I make my own. So, I'm dipping the breast 
in the flour, and now I'm dipping it in the egg. Okay, and I'm coming off the egg, and now I'm dipping the breast in the pistachios. Oh my God, this looks so good. All right, and into the oil it goes. Now, I gotta do that three more times. The idea. There we go. Alright, so I'm putting this up on high. Okay? Don't mind the noise. Like I said, I have a small kitchen. Alright. I'm going to cook these breasts on each side for about two minutes here on the stove top and then I'm going to throw them in the oven, finish cooking, and I'm going to make the gorgonzola cheese sauce. Okay, I just turned the breasts and you can see that the pistachios have caramelized very nicely. Okay, now I'm going to cook these on this side for about one more minute and in the oven they go and then I'm going to make the gorgonzola cheese sauce. Okay. So, I'm warming up about a cup of half and half. And I'm going to add to that some gorgonzola cheese. Now, this isn't a sauce Mornay like I made a couple of weeks ago when I did pasta with eggs and anchovies. This is not a sauce Mornay. This is just a gorgonzola cheese sauce. Okay? I love gorgonzola. Okay? So this is half and half and about six ounces of gorgonzola. And I'm going to melt the gorgonzola into the half and half to create the sauce. Okay? Now, to that, A little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. Creamy sauces love black pepper. So however much black pepper you can you can handle, this sauce will handle it for you. I happen to like a lot of black pepper. Okay. Now I'm gonna melt this cheese on a medium high and I'm gonna let this sauce reduce okay like I said you'll notice there's no flour so this is not a sauce Mornay this is just a nice creamy gorgonzola sauce so I'm gonna melt this down and then I'm gonna plate up the dish It smells so good in here, it's ridiculous. Alright, now, I'm also going to add some sage, okay? I don't have fresh sage leaves, but rubbed sage powder will work just as well. It adds a nice contrast to this cheese sauce, okay? All right, the gorgonzola cheese sauce is ready to go, and the chicken is cooked through in the oven, so it's time to plate up. Oh, look at that sauce. Delicious. Oh, God, delicious. All right, guys, there it is. Okay. Pistachio encrusted chicken breast with a gorgonzola cheese sauce and roasted red peppers.